Welcome to Camera Math Class. Today's math question we need to solve is about circle equation. Let's see the question description. How do you find the equation of the circle passing through the three points? 2, comma, minus 4, minus 6, comma, 4, minus 2, comma, minus 8. Before solving the problem, we must first learn the equation of the circle. Draw a circle in Cartesian coordinates with center h, k, and radius r. We usually use the equation to represent circles. x minus h square plus y minus k square of length is equal to r square. And this equation is called standard equation of circle. For example, we draw a circle whose center is 1, comma, minus 1, radius is 2. So the standard equation is x minus 1 square plus y plus 1 square of them is equal to 4. However, in this problem, we are not given the center and the radius of the circle but the three points on the circle. If you want to find the equation of the circle from three points, you need to use the general equation. We have just learned the standard equation. Now, we use it to derive the general equation of circle. We can see the equation become this form, and I use a replaces minus 2, b replaces 2, and c replaces minus 2. This is the general equation of a circle. x squared plus y squared plus a times x plus b times y plus c, they all equal to 0. The rest of the operation is very simple. We just plug these three points into the equation. Three new equations can be obtained. You might think the calculations are very complicated. I recommend you to use Camera Math app to solve such complex calculations. This app can improve the efficiency of solving math problems. Open the app and check pictures of these three equations. We can quickly get the values of A, B, and C. The app also provides the steps. If you have doubts about the calculation, you can follow it step by step. A is 8, B is 4, C is minus 20. Put these three numbers back into the equation of the circle and you can get the result. Have you learned the standard equation and the general equation of circle? Now, let's look at another question. Try the methods I just explained to solve it. Tell me your answer in the comments. You can also tell me the math problems you want to solve. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more math. See you next time.